is Floor de Mar, been in business for over 20 years as an Airbnb. There's three different structures on it. It's 1.7 acres with an option to purchase the one acre on the front, which is on the beach. This is the main house. It's traditional build. It's got the long lanai all the way out front. You walk in, client had the doors custom made, so they open their Dutch doors. It's the top open so you can get a good breeze without allowing your dogs to run in and out. That's why she did it. And in fact, right now it's August 1st. There's no AC and it's nice. And it's nice. You walk in, you've got your main living space. You've got a half bath. We'll bebop right over here. You've got your dining room with a, a gas or wood fireplace as well. Nice big kitchen, dual sinks, prep sink, dish sink, walk-in pantry, new appliances. All the bedrooms on this compound have their own ensuite bathrooms. Every one of them. So there's a total of six bedrooms here and they all have their own bathrooms with a half bath. This is the master suite, steps out to the front lanai. So the master suite has basically ocean view. It's got a full shower, toilet, big, big walk-in closet. I mean, this is very cute too. This is turnkey making and money. The ceilings are much higher here. It's got the beams. This is the oh, other lower bedroom designed for kids. So this is obviously for an Airbnb. With, again, access to the front and then you've got the full bathroom. Yeah, this is a utility room, hot water heater, pressure tank, one set of washer and dryer. There's actually two sets of washer and dryers on this property. Industrial size. Yeah. Gas tank back there. That cistern is 20,000 liters. That cistern is fed by the city. So where's our property line at? Follow the fence. So fences all the way. Up. All the way up to the road. Here, let's go up the stairs here. Oh, shoot. What? <laughs> oh, this is the money shot. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's tough to beat. All the established. is gorgeous. Check this out. This has got the character too, bro. You're right, it does. And it's clean. Oh, okay. This is nice. Full on suite. What's nice about the layout of this house though is they're it's all easy. separate. So it has a lot of light coming in. Three different structures. Total of six bedrooms, six bathrooms with a half bath in the main. And that's not what about the beds though, because the one had three beds. Total that's... of eight beds. Did I point out the other ocean view from right here? Yeah, yeah but Especially look at this. Especially if you trimmed up some of those palms a little bit. And this is just another room. I like those ladies. So this was a pepper farm. And because of that, the water is uh, unmetered. Tons of space to build. This is a driveway, but you could put a full another casita there. Look over to this side. There is all that is your empty space to build on or wow. make a garden. And you could put in another 20 units right there. Oh, yeah. Small yep. individual houses that you would rent for a hundred bucks a night. I would do little townhouses. So they have the view at the top, right? And you got your little living space at the bottom and just line them up. Yep. There's tons of room on this property to do whatever you want. We're envisioning it because we see these palms. If you got rid of those palms and everything, of course. that's a ton of space. Well, you could even leave some of the palms, yeah. you know what I mean? But you just trim up the mid stuff in your view line. Or even from this back corner, if you put a two-story structure back in this corner right here, you'd still have an ocean view facing that way. I mean, but that whole line there, that's yeah. good. you could kill it. And this is above the two-car garage. It's very tall. And there's a tennis court over there? Yeah, but that's on the front property, but that is also available for sale. Or if you buy the back property, when it, she sells the front property, you have first right of refusal on that. So this has a very nice pool. That's a jacuzzi, right? Yep. Functioning? Heated, yes. And I'm assuming that that heats the pool. Yep. Great for like a wedding. Favorite part of the house here? You get a nice breeze if you look. Amazing ocean view right there. Amazing. And you get it it's shaded. There's a view. You hear the pole. The are pool these going. witchcraft? These you are lights. It. These look great yeah. at night. That's what these are. I love this casita. This is a little more traditional style, right? Yeah. A little the breeze and the view. <sighs> the tennis court is a community tennis court. Pickleball and or tennis. Love it. Ocean. Ocean. No, it's protected dunes. I can't build. You got a full on suite. Big closet here. <laughs> Our line ends right, right here. So that fire pit's not ours? No, actually, no, it's not. It's just outside. So I gotta listen and watch other people have a little fire pit out there right in front of my house. It's right here. I'm gonna be throwing just being like, hey. Or we just drag that fire pit right here and make it ours. There we go. I like it. Always thinking. 
I like it. You gotta, you gotta solve the problem, baby. You solve, can't just complain so about it, you so gotta solve it. Solve. What do you want more for breakfast? You want some eggs? You want some flapjacks? How do you like your eggs? You want some, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. So much you could do up here. So, and there's no restrictions on Palapas. This here. is the neighbor's house here, yep. right? Obviously, you could build something like that. You can go up a second floor here if you wanted. So that is the front beach house. That is also four bedrooms with a rooftop that is, the rooftop is sick. We can go over there if you'd like. And it's got a big backyard behind it that's untouched still. So. And that's a one acre piece. This one, we're asking 2.6 negotiable. 